will Horizon Zero Dawn be a success? So I'll, yes. let you, I'll let you go ahead and sort of set the premise here. Yeah, because of course this is the upcoming new IP from Guerrilla Games. We know them from Killzone. Um, and they're now releasing this open world RPG in a futuristic world. But it's like kind of prehistoric with, yeah, you, you are a girl, um, the ally that, that is using like bow and arrow to kill these uh, dinosaurs. But the dinosaurs are machines. And of course there's way more yeah going on in this world and if you if i look at my personal opinion it looks super interesting i want to explore this world but i looked at a neogaf uh, forum and uh, they were discussing what games will flop in 2000 uh, 2017 and of course we have the agents of mayhem game and that's the game from volition um the creators of saints row we don't hear anything about that and i don't think that that's like a fall 2017 game so they better start talking about that because it's kind of quiet. Anyway, they were also talking. Some people thought that Horizon Zero Dark wasn't going to be a success. And then we're talking about a success like commercially, but also critically. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, the game will release in, on February uh, 28th in the US and March 1st in Europe. And um, that's like a time frame where a lot of other places for exclusives are released as well. I'm looking at the Order 1886. Um, did you play that game? Yeah, I played the Order. And I beat it actually. I, yeah, I was very was disappointed fun. at the end. Yeah, it was pretty short actually as well. Well, it, it wasn't uh, the shortness. It's just that you literally play a, a ginormous flashback, and then the last part of the game is like an hour long, and it just cuts to a really cool cinematic, and you're like, "Wow, this this game is never going to get a sequel, probably." Yeah, it, it's and it's also like it. it uh, I had the feeling that it like quit like halfway through the game. So yep. yeah, when I'm when I'm going to get the second part, well, probably not. And that was like all the game had going for it is was the story. So that mm -hmm. was like a weird game, but still, it sold really well. It made Sony some money, and that was also obviously, obviously as well because it was like one of the first real PS4 exclusives. We also have Infamous Second Son, also a game that I liked playing, but not like as good as the previous Infamous games. Also sold pretty well. They all came out in that February March time frame. Um, then we have some interesting uh, points. So before we go, we are going to discuss if we think Horizon will be a success. Um, it's reviewing well internally, and um, then you probably think, how can you know that? Well, we of course know Shinobi 602 over on NeoGaf. Um, he's an insider, and he discusses that. He hears that the mock review. So before a game releases, there will be some sort of like uh, people that will review the game internally so that they get a feeling of where the game will go uh, Metacritic wise. So obviously before they send it out to the press, they want to know where they stand. Do we need to push this really hard? Do we? So this is super interesting because he says that it's doing really well. It's uh, yeah, so really well. I think that's around the eight till nine. So. You could say that critically it could be a success. Then of course we have Guerrilla Games and they made some pretty good games. Uh, the previous game was Killzone uh, Shadowfall, launch game for PS4. Um, 73, they had Killzone 2 of course on PS3. 91 on Metacritic, pretty high. Killzone 3 had an 83 on Metacritic. So what do you think? Will Horizon Zero Dawn be a success? I'm not so sure, and that's that's the sad thing, right? I mean, I, I look at it, I'm like, okay, well, this game, it looks really flashy in trailers, but I could see it becoming extremely shallow a couple hours in. And the reason why I say that is because when you have a developer like Guerrilla Games who developed Killzone, which is basically uh, like a Call of Duty or Battlefield with this a different theme, and that may piss some people off, but it's it's an on-rail shooter and they don't really have to do too much with it it's basically like a michael bay film you watch it it's entertaining and then you realize what it is and so with horizon i worry that that's the same case where it's going to be super flashy for the f first few hours and I'm like wow this is really cool climbing on dinosaurs or whatever mechanical dinosaurs and um, going to their cores and striking them down or you know using my tools to attack them but then you might realize later on, on that oh it's not really that complex as it seemed at the beginning and there's only really certain ways to tackle them and the story is kind of meh and I, I think that 
the game could easily fall under that category and because of that I don't think it's going to lose money. I mean, it definitely won't. I think it's going to be a, a very co big commercial success, but I think the overwhelming majority of people might come away with it at the end and think, eh, it was an entertaining game, but it's definitely mm -hmm. not Game of the Year material. Yeah, and yeah, I could totally see where you're coming from. It's, it's of course like a huge step from a like Unreal linear shooter to an open world RPG. They of course hired someone from Fallout New Vegas, to write the game, so that's like a yeah, that that's a good thing, of course. Um, but yeah, it's it's like itching. It's new ground for them. Um, they've been working on this game for a very very long time, though. They of course delayed it. It was supposed to hit in 2016. Now a few months later, but yeah, they've been st they've been working on this game even before Killzone was uh, released. So it's I, I don't yeah I think that commercially. It will probably be fine and you can also like track this a little bit by going for example we have this um you probably have this as well the uh fit iq like some sort of plug video, for video your... analytics tracker yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Yep. so video an analytics tracker and if you then put down like horizon you see what the search volume is and uh, mm -hmm. how much people are creating content about it and the search volume is like a hundred so there are a ton of people uh interested in this game watching this footage and also if you go to a random uh, Horizon Zero Dawn video on the PlayStation YouTube channel. It's like in the millions, the views. So that also like shows you a little bit. For example, if you go to a Gravity Rush video and Gravity Rush is releasing soon, um, it will probably not be like a million seller. And you see that in the views as well, 100,000 views, 200,000 views. So not super, super huge um, if you compare it, for example, to uh, Horizon. So, I think that that is also something, I think that the fact that, again, this is a new PS4 exclusive um, that also really helps. And if we looked at the uh, holiday of 2016, we saw that not a lot of sequels did really well. And mm. that, that could also be the case that people are interested in a new IP. And this is really something that, of course, the gameplay might be familiar, the um, RPG elements, the world map the skills but the world is something totally new and you want to explore something new um a thing that i think um could also hold it back a little bit and this is of course sad this is really sad but f the female protagonist could also like be a i mean i also look i always look at mafia tree and see like this super awesome uh, cool guy shooting up people and that's cool like persons that buy like a two three games a year look at mafia and think okay that's a cool game well if they look at horizon they might not yeah might not feel like they're attached to this character uh, as soon as they see the game so that could also hold it back uh, i don't know i think you're i think you're overestimating that because i mean okay I, I think to assume that I you're hope assuming, I am, obviously. yeah, I think if you're assuming that you're assuming that uh, a majority of gamers are basically sexist, um, not maybe, oh, like, like really, really sexist, but sexist enough to not really become attached to a character that isn't their gender, right? And no, I, or, I, I don't, I don't feel that's a, a thing really in gaming. Maybe if it was done a lot, um, I think we might see a trend like that, but. Um, when it really comes down to it, you know, that never stopped people from loving Laura Croft. You know, that that never stops um, people from buying those games and really loving that character. And when it really comes down to it, man, if as long as she's written well uh, and as long as the character is compelling, I think everyone is going to love her. It's just that's what it really comes down to. I mean, when it, the reason why people love the Mafia 3 character is because he was so well written. It's just we didn't get a lot of that unless you went through all the padding, right? So, yeah, it's I don't I don't think that's really going to be a thing. Um, mm. So it's just if you if you look at um, like for example the GTA games, when there why is there no female character in like the cast there? Um, it, it could be right, and they're still like not doing it. I do think that there is some sort of marketing. There's, thing going on there. there yeah there's certainly a fear i think among developers yeah that may want to that, that, diversify their cast that feel that that might also alienate specific audiences that they feel are their majority right and yeah. that's why i said if it's overdone i think that that would cause an issue i don't think it should but um unfortunately we live in a world where 
Tracer becoming uh, basically coming out as being gay in the most innocent way possible in like two panes of a comic series is a, a huge issue, right? Um, so it's very yeah. possible but that that could be a factor. I just don't think it will because she's a badass in, in every single trailer. And I think yeah, that yeah. that will cause people, just like they you know fell in love with Tracer, um, even though they may have you know their differences with how Blizzard portrayed the character within the lore, I think people just will look at the the way the character holds themselves um, up and, as a person, and also how the the lore is written around them and love the game for that, um, rather than them being able to see themselves in a character in terms of like their face and like their gender and everything like that. Because yeah. yeah, that is an important piece. You know, I've I've heard numerous people say before. Uh, it, Females, even that that's basically it's like, oh, well, I want to play that game because it's this a male leading cast, you know, it's and they have the worst end of the stick where that's a predominant thing where most, you know, lead characters are male. So, yeah, I mean, I don't want to get too far into it, but I, I don't think that it will be an issue. OK, and I hope, of course, that you're right. I, I don't yeah. think that, that I, I don't agree, of course, with people like thinking that, but I could just like. Uh, yeah, see uh, someone walk into the uh, yeah to the store and yeah looking at shooters that that he's playing like Call of Duty and maybe he picks up a sport game every year. Seeing Horizon and thinking, okay, the world looks cool, but I I, I simply don't enjoy playing a female or something like that. Anyway, to round out this uh, topic, um, j will Horizon be a success? You think that commercially it will totally be a success? Success? I totally agree with you, uh, right? I, I think that it will be a success in terms of it profiting. I, I do worry yeah. about how much it will profit, though. Mm, yeah, so I, to I can totally see that. Uh, I hope that Sony sets uh, realistic expectations, but mm -hmm. it's, it's also like the, the timing. I mean, there are no other games coming out and around that time. And I applaud their marketing for that, because if they would have released it around when they were originally planning to release it, I think yeah. it definitely would have struggled. Them. It probably never. It, uh, it was probably like f b for the uh, greatness awaits like marketing <laughs> because uh, Sony has never released like a triple A game in the holiday since the launch of the PS4. So I'm, I'm kind that's... of I'm kind of certain too. Guerrilla Games kind of was like, yo, Sony, look at Killzone, uh, Shadowfall on the PS4. Uh, well, look what happened when we rushed that out the door. It got a 73 on Metacritic, or you know, they probably used different statistics than that. But I mean, obviously, you know, nothing was wrong with. Um, you know, uh, just all the other games or whatever that when you rush something out the door to hit a certain point um, in a production cycle, so like say the launch of the PS4, that can cause you to cut corners um, a lot more and not really put as much care into a game as um, with, for example, this game where they're like, okay, well, you have the time or delay it if you need to, just let us advertise it as it's coming. You know, yeah. and we'll delay it and let you delay it as long as you need, uh, as long as you don't delay it at an unrealistic point. But they they definitely didn't, and I'm fairly certain there's gonna be no more delays. I mean, it would be kind of ridiculous no, no, no. if there is at this point. No, so. I, I totally believe that that it's coming out like at this day. They're like yeah. they seem pretty certain. And what's also interesting um, is that um, I mean, there now there is like a little bit of a hype. I mean, it's one of the first big titles coming out this year. And the Sony marketing hasn't even begun, so I think that around the end of February you will see ads of Horizon everywhere, and uh, they will totally push this game. And I really hope that well, what I think will happen, maybe it will get like an eight on Metacritic or something like that, so a great score. But there's like way more potential, and then the sequel may be released two years later because they already have the framework, engine, everything, um, and then they can really build on that. I can totally see that happening. Anyway, I'm totally excited. We will maybe cover the sales if, uh, if there's something interesting going on around that time.